Hello, sweet friends. It's Tracy. I'm excited to bring this spring bunny door hanger decor to you today using one of the grapevine forms from Hobby Lobby. Now, I happened to get this one as it was on sale and it was available and I've been wanting to make one of those that have the fabric on the back I could never run across them so I decided to make one uh, for myself and I want to share how I did it so let's go ahead and get started Okay, I'm using one of the grapevine bunnies from Hobby Lobby as well as some canvas that I took off of the frames from a reverse canvas project. Uh, the fabric is this uh, buffalo check black and white uh, that I got from Walmart and then also some heat and bond. Okay, so uh, because my canvas were um, not long enough or big enough, wide enough, whatever, I need to go ahead and, and and splice them together and I do that with the heat and bond uh, one was from a you know 12 by 12 and one was you know from another size and so I just took some of the heat and bond and just kind of uh, you know splice that together before I figure out my fabric my little heating tool is my Cricut uh, heat press mini and uh, mini is the word because it doesn't you know cover a big uh, area so an iron would also work as well and so I just splice those together so that I would get have enough canvas for my bunny so I unroll my uh, little fat quarter and I just use my heat tool just to get off this sticker that kind of helps a little bit and then I measure out my heat and bond uh, on my canvas I don't want to waste uh, the heat and bond so I just kind of measure it out and try to guesstimate as much as I could so that I won't have you know a, a, you know some waste to it and so I did have to splice this together as well because the heat and bond was not quite um you know the way that I had positioned it I had to kind of splice it together but it worked for me for my project because I am going to add a cute bow to the bunny and everything is going to be glued down and so everything is just going to work just fine you know, I was determined to figure out how to, uh, you know, get this buffalo check pattern on this bunny. And it really does seem as I'm, I'm going through this video, it really does seem like to be a lot of steps. But I enjoyed the process and actually creating a, a buffalo check a grapevine bunny um, out of things that I already had on hand. So I am super proud of myself. So I am just, uh, you know, uh, laying out my fabric now because once I take off the back, uh, of the heat and bond, I need to press it to the fabric. And, um, so I'm just using my little Cricut mini heat, uh, press, you know, like I said, you can see that it's a really, really small, um, I should have pulled out my iron, but it was okay. Uh, I, I enjoyed using it. Like I said, I wasn't in a hurry. So then now I'm just laying out my grapevine bunny. And so now you can see why I kind of spliced everything together so that I can take my pencil and draw out or trace out the bunny on the outer side. And then I'm going to hot glue all of this this canvas directly to the grapevine and it has held up nicely I don't have any problems I did uh, work in sections with uh, gluing it down so that I you know so that it would adhere very nicely the canvas to the grapevine And working in small sections, I made sure that I pulled it around like pulling it on both sides so that I wouldn't have it off center. My uh, little masking tool from the Dollar Tree works great and it helped uh, my fingers protect my fingers from hot glue burning them. 
Now everything is all nice and glued down. So let's make a cute bow for this bunny. So these are the ribbons that I'm using. Uh, they either came from uh, Craft Outlet, Michaels, or Hobby Lobby. I'm also using some greenery as well as some daisies. And so I'm using my Easy Bow Maker that I got at uh, DecoExchange.com. Uh, it is my favorite uh, bow making tool at the moment. And so I am just measuring out about four and a half inches of loops and uh, the tails are probably about uh, five inches. And so I just measure my loops and, you know, I just twist the ribbon so that the right side would be, you know, uh, up on top. And uh, so now I'll just make four loops, two on each side, then I'll move on to my next ribbon. For each layer of ribbon, I will make uh, the bow uh, loops about a quarter or a half of an inch smaller so that the bottom ribbon is my uh, largest loop, which was four and a half inches. And then my next loops, I will make a little about a, a half of an inch smaller. And uh, then I'll proceed with my next ribbon and make that about a half of an inch smaller. And uh, depending on how many ribbons I'm using in my bow will just really depend um, how I'm going to loop my bow. But my favorite method is by going a half of an inch smaller on each of the loops. Okay, I share these projects because it's something that I am doing and I want to inspire other people, but I want to uh, make sure that I do um, say this respectfully. If you know you as the viewer of the project feel that the bow is too big or too full, then just use, um, you know, less ribbon or just use uh, a different you know, sizing wise, as I went back and I took the pictures of the finished bunny, I said, eh, I'm going to get some comments to say your bow's too big for your bunny. I don't think it is because my customer base loves the big bows. So I respectfully say, if you don't like big bows, then make your ribbon um, smaller in length and uh, make the bow as small as you would like it to. To secure my bow, I'm just taking a pipe cleaner and I will carefully take off my uh, bow off of the Easy Bow Maker, just trying to hold my ribbons, you know, so they don't shift. And then I'll just take the pipe cleaner, you know, uh, curl it around the bow itself, and then I will twist it as tight as I can to get my ribbon tails to pop up and uh, you know where it makes my bow look very nice and uh, so the tighter I can twist that pipe cleaner the more my ribbon tails will pop and then I'm gonna uh, dovetail all uh, of the ends of the ribbons and uh, just with my scissors I just make a v-cut or a dovetail and then uh, to attach the bow to my buddy uh, what I've done is there, I had to make a small hole uh, or actually pull a little bit of the canvas uh, buffalo check fabric away from the grapevine because I want to wrap my bow, that pipe cleaner, around my grapevine. I 
I just add some greenery uh, little sticks as well as some daisies to uh, some of the loops of the bow I'm uh, just kind of hot gluing that in there and uh, making sure that it's all nice and secure To hang it, I just took a uh, half of a pipe cleaner and just hot glued it to the back and just covered up the ends of it with some felt so that it was more secure. All right, so I'm going to make a small little bow for the top of my bunny. So I'm just using some yellow ribbon that I had and uh, just making a two loop bow, just using a pipe cleaner just to, you know, secure it in the middle. And then I'm just kind of fiddling with it just to make sure that I like the, uh, you know, that it's um, even on both sides. And I just glue that to the top, kind of off to the side. And uh, once I have all that secure, here, then I'm going to uh, include a sunflower, just one small sunflower, and uh, just hot glue that like that because the sunflower kind of matches the ribbon that I've uh, selected for my little farmhouse bunny. I'm super happy the way that this turned out. So here I'm sharing some more inspiration of different colors. Uh, this just screams spring to me. I just love it so much and I hope that you do too. Thanks so much for watching. We will talk to you all very soon and God bless.